Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Tometsi. We're gonna dive in here with number 84, Roundabout. Hmm. Yeah, see, you go like this, like it's a little roundabout here. Like a, a traffic circle, as they say in some parts of the world. Um, where do we start? We have diagonals, so... Uh, Four in between threes? There's already not anything super great going on here. We have three of these exactly, which means exactly one of these. So to finish this three, we need two here, which finishes this two, and there's no mine there. Well, that wasn't that exciting, was it? I drew this one in white for no particular reason. It really should be black according to my notational conventions I've developed. Um, this two next to these ones, it can't have any mines on either of these two spaces because then there'd be nowhere to place the second mine. Now these ones are useful because they don't share this space. Can I do something with this four? I don't think so. Well, actually it's pretty close. Um, because with this, there's three here. At least one of them, therefore, must be over here. Um, I thought I could say something similar about this three, but I can't. It could have all three over here for all I know. This, now this, you can also say there's at least one because this two can't have all of its mines over in this area without breaking this one. And this two, yeah, see, this is why I said it's close. This two has at most one over here, right? Therefore, at least one here. Oh, this isn't useful. Therefore, at most one here, which doesn't help me with the at least I was looking for. All right, let's look at like a three, two, three pattern, say here. Um, but when it's around a corner, it doesn't really help. I need them in a line and I don't have any like that. Well, I kind of do. Here, there's at least one in this space to satisfy, in, sorry, these spaces to satisfy this three, which means at most one in all of this for this two. Yes. Now, this three must have at least two mines in these three spaces. It's overlapping with this three, but that's okay. We're, we're using the deduction just from here, which we already, which we do indeed have. So there's at least two in this area, which satisfies this two. So this space and this space can't be mines. There you go. Let me erase. It's getting a bit messy. 
And now, since there's two here, there's exactly one here to finish the three. Whoops, pencil, go away. Uh, now a three next to a one, these must be mines. And these are, are not. What have I done wrong? Oh. Wait. So this, this does have to be a mine. That's very easy to show. This three next to this one, it needs two mines away from it, which have to be here. Oh, these two, God, I'm so, ugh. I thought that this one could only see these two spaces, but of course it can see this one as well. So we know this isn't a mine, but we don't know that about this. Okay. This is still not quite useful. Well, here's a thought. This question mark blocks some transmission of information, but not all of it. This two and this one, right? We have... Um, at most one of these three because of the one and therefore at least one of these two which means at most one of like this entire area i'll just mark this half because i'm not really sure what to do with it most one over here it doesn't seem to go anywhere does it I have at least one here and at most one here. And also at most one here. I don't I don't think that helps. Anyway, the point is now this four has at least three in this area. Which means this four has at most one here. Which means this three has at least two over here, and it must have exactly two, because this two here would otherwise be overloaded. So these spaces are not mines. And we should be able to propagate that backwards, right? Yes, these at most and at least are turning into exactly as I believe. We know there's two here, which means one here, which means exactly three here, which means exactly one here, which means exactly one in this area which means for this two to be satisfied, its last mine must be here. And this zero goes off now. Can't we do more here? Not really, I guess. Ah, this four is getting a little better, isn't it? Because this this used to be at, at most one here, I think. Now it's exactly one? No, it was at least one, wasn't it? Yeah, this was at least one, at most one, at least one. So I, I think we still can't make progress on the fours. Hmm. 
I mean, this one across from this two means there's at most one here, therefore at least one here. But that's not that useful, I don't think. We really don't have more in this area, huh? I mean, this is obviously exactly one in that smaller space now, but we just know there's one here, one here, three here, one here, and of course two here, which I could draw in, but doesn't seem very useful. Is there some way in which it is useful? I don't think so. This three, it's only got four neighbors. So in any pair of spaces it's adjacent to, we have at least one mine. So we have at least one here, which would mean at most two of these three. That doesn't sound very exciting. It doesn't really bother anybody. Doesn't restrict the existing mines much, is what I mean. Um, this is sort of conspicuous, actually. I don't think I can do anything with it yet. But I'm looking at the A count, and I see there are four, right? Oh no, I meant to look at, I was gonna say, well, there's exactly two here, and I wouldn't be at all surprised to discover a two down here eventually, right? And then we could say like, these aren't mines. And so I thought maybe we should work in this direction, but actually I think I meant to look at C count. Oh, it's not quite there, is it? No, it's not even close to there. Never mind. Because, okay, we know at least one of these. And we know at least one of these, but they could overlap or they could not. And we, I thought briefly that we knew at least one of these, but we don't. We know at most one of these, as has been discussed many times throughout the solving of this puzzle. If you can call it solving, we've hardly gotten anywhere in 15 minutes. I guess one nice, um, Advantage, by the way, is that uh, since I started doing one puzzle per episode, I have not failed to solve a puzzle in an episode. You know, I've, I've made some stumbles, but I haven't gotten so stuck that I couldn't eventually figure out the answer. So three cheers for that policy, I guess. Because I'm sure it is a bit unsatisfying to see me just give up. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 there's there's something, oh, I lost my pencil marks when I left the puzzle and came back, interesting. Anyway, there's something fairly easy. This one has a mine here, therefore this two has a mine here, so this one is finished. Okay. Well, now, 
This too is looking a little more suspicious, although I don't really know that I can do anything with it. We already had um, at least one of these because of this area. And we now also have at least one of these. I guess the main consequence of this is that it like, can't be these two on the bottom anymore, but that doesn't really seem to accomplish too much. It could still be like both of these touching no Cs, importantly. Huh. Oh, so, but spreading this area out, even though I can't do anything much with the clues that I just got, improves the situation down here because now these two twos are up against a wall, so to speak, right? We know there's exactly two in this area, which finishes this two as well. Before, we didn't know that because this two might have had some mines up here. So we can mark all of these as safe. And now these ones are up against a wall. They share these three, but not here. Mm. Well, there's exactly one here, which means exactly one here, and therefore exactly one here to finish this three. I guess we already knew there was exactly one here from the three and the four, right? One of these, what is, what good is that? And I think we still don't have anything here. We haven't developed anything new along this, this line. This marking is a little uh, distracting because really it's two and that's how I usually notate one. I mean, I have at least one here. Oops, give me back my black ink. I have at least one here, which doesn't seem to help. I mean, I guess we still, we know, we have known for a while, as we, and we said before, that there's at most one here, which means at least one in this space, which we knew. Did we? No, wait, this is wrong. There's at, mo there's at least one here, not at most one. Ah! This is useful, isn't it? No. I, I feel I'm using this two to solve itself, which doesn't make sense. So I must have made a mistake. No, 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 this is okay. It combines with these things in a weird way. So, 
Let's confirm that we know these. There's at least one in this area, right? Or I wrote exactly one. It really should be at least one. Um, because there can be at most one in this area for this one, there's definitely at least one here. And no, I think I'm still wrong and stupid. But what I was getting at is I, I can I can show there's at most one here, right? Um, yes, yes. No, god damn it. <laughs> I keep wanting to prove that there must be mines here and here. Or that there's exactly one of these two. Either of those would be fine. But proving that there's at least one of them doesn't help me, which is, I think, all I can do. Right, this at most one ripples back and proves at most one here. Um, but, no, this is kind of cool, I think. I know I've gone back and forth on this so many times, but if there's at most one here, then we have at least one of these, which we knew. Can it be both of them? Yes, it can. Ugh. It could be both. Because there would still be at least one in each of these areas, here and here. Yeah, this isn't useful. I keep getting lured in by the siren song of, like, confusing mosts and leasts. Wait, I have a most. I have exactly one here. Is that correct? How did that happen? Because then there should be none here, right? Is this right? Why is there at most one here? Why is there exactly one here? Did I draw it from this and and uh, I'm just wrong? Or did I get it in some actually correct way? Let's work on that again. So we know and have known for some time that there are three here and therefore one here. Two in this area. At most one of which is over here, but, but maybe none. Therefore, at least one here. Now, I had written something stronger before. I think it was just because I forgot that this B is a space again. And I still don't think there are any edge clues that help. This four and this four are the two that look most useful. But this four, you can say almost nothing about, really. You can just say there's at least one here. 
all the others could be decided this way. There's exactly one here. I don't think we can say that there are any here. There might, there's at most one, but maybe none. There's no way we can combine these two rows, right? I asked this just because like, if there are none here, then there must be one here. No, then there must be none here also. Interesting, because uh, 0, 1, 1 finishes this 2, right? Wait. So if there's one mine here, then there's one mine here, right? Or here, I guess. That's kind of interesting. These areas have something linking them. One here. And if there's two here, there's two here, which is impossible. We already knew that, I think. Yeah, we proved at most one here somehow or other. Yeah, by, by all this stuff. Okay. Um, we know there's at least one here for this four. But that's really it. How did I prove? I I feel like I proved exactly one here before, and that would be super, super useful. And I think I proved it maybe even before. Before uncovering this space. Like, we know there are two in this area, right? Yeah. <sighs> Wait a minute. This three sees at least one mine from down here and exactly one here. So there's at most one of these two, which means there's at least one of these two, which finishes this one. I think that's where I was supposed to go all this time. Let me double check that. There are three here, guaranteed. Therefore, one here, guaranteed. Now, the thing I usually do is skip a space to this three because it's got, it's been bounded by the, the line we just put in and we can say, we can say exactly two here. But if we don't skip this three, we can place some at least or at most clues, which is sort of useful, right? Um, in particular, it has one here and at least one here, therefore at most one of these two, therefore at least one of these, which does indeed solve this one. This two is next to a one, and so it needs a mine here, and there isn't one here. And we found a C, and there's a second C here. I think that's the C's done, because we know there's at least one here for this four. Nope. We also know there's at least one here, but they could overlap, right? But okay, we got closer. And anyway, there's more stuff to do down here. That's a, that's a one, an isolated one. These twos now have to go there. This is a zero. This three is finished and so is the four. In fact, that whole area is. Ah, 
have I done the three the, the C's? I don't think I have. We don't need this four anymore necessarily because this one next to the two places at least one of these and this three places at least one of these but I don't actually see the last one yet. However, that's fine because I can go this way. If I have at least one of these, no. I can't say that I have anything next to this one necessarily. It could be both of these. Ah, this two column is finished um, by this three and one at the bottom. We have one of these and therefore exactly two of these, which is all we need in the column. Big breakthrough there. Mm, can't do anything with that three yet, but this two is done. Two by the one mine here. These two ones give us this. These two ones go over there. Two by this one, mine there. Nothing there, mine from this one. Okay. There's a nice flurry of activity. Oh, look, we have more. There's a mine there and none of these. Has to be both of those. Ooh. Exactly one mine here, is that useful? Yes, because exactly one mine here. Therefore, none of the rest of the column. Mine here and here and here. Yeah, nothing in this area. Can't say for sure about this yet. Um, did we finish the column? Yeah, we did, okay. Ah, but there's the mine for that. We have this. Uh, this three by the four is now more interesting than it was before, I think. Didn't these, these were both fours before. Now we have three here, which means one here. I guess we already had that because there are two here. Hmm. We must have proven exactly one of these a while ago and finding out which one isn't helping. Okay. There are, there's at least one B in this area out of two total, but I don't think I can show any others. This two might not be any of them. Oh. I can do this two column, two, two row, watch. There are at least two in this, sorry. For this three, there's at least one here. That seems pretty clear, right? Only two down here, one up here. And uh, this two can only have one down here, so it needs one up here, which is at least, but of course also exactly uh, for this row to be okay. So nothing in any of those spaces. And uh, we need a mine here. Satisfy this two. And this two next to a one means there must be a mine here. Doesn't it? Yes. Um, and we showed one here, which means both of these. These two ones 
still don't really solve the seeds. I'm a bit, a bit irked by that. Ah, these two ones next to each other give me these spaces. And now I finally can say that this two is touching a B. Um, it can have at most one here, which means at least one of these two. We also have at least one of these two, and therefore exactly in both cases. So we can say that this is a mine, this is a mine, and the other Bs are not. For this one, we got that B. Mm, two by one goes there. One by one goes there. This one reflects back this way, right? There's one of these and therefore none of these. This one and this one cooperate here. Uh, not so down here because this is a there's too much non-overlap. Um, Uh, we can do something with the C's though. We know there's exactly one here and therefore exactly one here. So to finish this four, we need all three of these to be mines. Uh oh. Nope, that wasn't true. Um, and I see exactly why. Because the four can have a mine here as well. Got it. Um, this two sandwiched by ones has a mine here and a mine here, therefore not here. Uh, this three row is finished. Or well, it's not finished, but we have we can we can make some progress in it. We know one of these for this. We know one of these for this, and we know at least one of these for this two by this one. Therefore, exactly one. And now we can mark these spaces as safe. Did that help? It's not very impressive. I'll tell you that. Oh, it is though. Look at this. The four column is done. Um, we have at least one two, one mine here for this two, which only has one other space. Exactly one here and one other C. And we have one other mine in this area, um, touching this one. It has to also be touching this one. So it can't be down here, in fact. It has to be one of these two. So the other my spaces in this row are all safe. And there's more cleanup work to do in here, I'm sure. Um, right, that has to be a mine since there's only one here. These two ones give us that. This one, that one goes there. Mine here for that one. Okay, this area is clear. Ah, this one puts a mine here, yeah? Um, hang on, no. This is the space that's supposed to be grayed out that I forgot about. Yeah, I erased it f foolishly and forgot to go back over it. Um, but we can do this column now. Exactly one of these two means exactly one of these two, which finishes the column. And now we can finally actually click this. Um, yeah, show me where not to click though. Yeah, thanks, drawings. All right, and uh, 
Give me back my eraser. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. Um, now, this one works together with this one to give me these three spaces. These two ones should work together. They share these, but not this. Yes, and now we can um, we can say one of these, therefore one of these, therefore one of these for this two, therefore none of these two for this one. Uh, it feels like I should be able to nail down the A's, but I don't see it yet. I guess a simpler thing to do is to look at this two. No, not quite. Can I now actually do something with this four? A little bit. I know there's one of, well, okay, I know that's a mine. That makes it a bit simpler to prove. <laughs> Uh, this is a mine also for that one. This one has to go here when sharing with that one. And now I know there's at most two mines in this C area touching the three, so its last mine is here. Um, furthermore, this finishes the C's, so that's not a mine, and we can go this way. This one and this one share these spaces, but not here. And we now share these spaces, but not here. Uh, we have these two and these three, therefore not here. Still two A's left. Well, one of them is these two, and the last one is here. These two ones share these spaces, but not here. And now these, well, this two anyway is done. The other one, of course, was about to become done. Okay. I guess this area has to be resolved with row clues, specifically one of these two. Which I think means we need to be working, obviously, somewhere else. I'm just not sure where. I don't have any like normal Minesweeper stuff over here, I don't think. Ah, this row. There can be at most one here, so there's one here. And since there's exactly one here, there's none down here, finishing this one. Now this one and this one share these spaces, but not here. We share these two spaces, but not here. Can we do something with this? Yes. We have one of these two, and at least one of these two for this two. So the rest of the row, these two spaces, is finished. And there's a mine there. These two ones give me here. And this row clue finally finishes the middle. We have the last mine is here, so it's not here. Mm, this two can have at most one of these two sp 
spaces because of the one, but that still leaves it at least one of these two, which is not that useful. I thought briefly it meant we needed a mine there, but we don't because we have this space to escape into. I'm starting to wonder if it's time to use the seven clue. It doesn't seem very productive because there are 12 spaces left. And I don't think we can prove seven mines yet. But maybe we can. Let's give it a try. We have uh, at least two of these for this three. We have exactly one here. And exactly one here. That's four. Not a lot of progress, huh? Huh. No, I mean, we have exactly one here. means exactly one here, which means exactly one here, but that's sort of where that stops. I feel like this one should be important, but it's not. Maybe over here? We have one of these. Ah, yep. And one of these. So that was what the point of proving all this was, was that I got an exactly one clue here to finish off this row. Now I can click these. And this two and three share all these spaces, so there's two here and one here. And we finish the Bs. Two by one has to be a mine there, not here. Uh, this two column is not yet done, but it is doing something because there's at most one of these two, therefore there has to be a mine here, which gives me this. And now, since there's exactly one in this column, this one is finished. Well, that wasn't very useful. I guess I knew it wouldn't be. I already knew how many mines were adjacent to all of those spaces. Hmm. But look at this. The three row is interesting now. Um, we have at most one in this entire area and exactly one here. So this must be the third mine in the row. Okay, good. Now I think we need total mine count to resolve this, right? Because uh, we have either here or like both of these or possibly all three of these. Anyway, this two put a mine here, which finishes this one. And we can go this way now. This four is suddenly getting more exciting, isn't it? Maybe? We know that there are at least two here. And at least one here. Well, exactly one there.
that doesn't really help though. How about total mine count? There's one here. Oh, let's just look at these two ones next to each other. They share this space and not here, so I can go this way. Fine. Now I know there's exactly one here, which I think is what I needed for this form, right? There's at least two here, exactly one here, and exactly one here, which means there's exactly two here, which means this three's last mine is there. Well, it's not what I needed to completely resolve things, but it did give me a square. There are exactly five mines in this entire puzzle, and four of them are here, and one of them's here. So uh, everything that's not currently marked is safe. And that should be the last step, right? Yeah, all right. Uh, so one blunder with that four. I'm not too embarrassed about it. These things happen. And we managed to solve, um, what the hell is this puzzle called? I've lost the window. Roundabout, 84, roundabout. Congratulations to us. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.